Peggy 3. When we first found out about PlayStation 4 and the features of the platform, we were really pleasantly surprised that they completely synced up with what we had in mind for Drive Club. It was almost a perfect storm, if you like. We had this desire to return back to, to realistic racing. We had this new hardware platform. It was just nice to finally align with, uh, with both the platform and our own desires as a studio and try and kind of bring that, bring that game to life. One of the things that we really liked was, was this idea that this was for an integrated, social generation of gamer who are now used to immediacy, connectivity, um, and an, an untethered relationship with their video games where they are in touch with those game worlds when they're on the bus, when they're at work, 24-7. Uh, we've taken everything that we've seen from the, uh, from the massive rise of social networks since the last uh, console cycle and, um, and really that's become a, a core pillar of what PlayStation 4 is all about. So, you know, Drive Club really works on that level better than anything else you've ever played. We wanted to create a community a genuine living, breathing community. So when it came to looking at how we tackle that from a Drive Club perspective, you know, what did community mean to us? Um, it meant that you had to have the ability for players to race both competitively, but also collaboratively. And if they're gonna collaborate, they've gotta to be together in a club. You know, they have to be, they have to be a team of racers. Within Drive Club, there will be a range of social connections. So you'll immediately be able to see all of your PlayStation Network friends, but then you'll also be able to see all your friends and their connections with inside the game. So you'll be able to see how your friends are connected to other people. But we'll essentially make it very easy using the social connection feature to be able to find the perfect club for yourself. What we want to achieve with Drive Club is basically a game which transcends the standard race and experience. We want to make it so that it's motivated and driven by the community itself. So it's very much a case of, um, of players getting involved, creating their own events and, um, and actually building uh, a community around the tools that we offer them. So at the core of Drive Club you have the ability to, anything that you do in the game, any time that you set, any score that you set, you can bundle that up as a challenge and then send it to friends, club mates, uh, even complete strangers. You know, you can pass this data on to them and say, look what I did, I dare you to beat it. Uh, challenges are not just to send and, and forget. Uh, basically, you're essentially, you're put into a leaderboard with those people. And so for the set duration of the time of the challenge, you can compete to sort of better yourself. In addition, once the challenge has been sent out, if people like that challenge, they can start competing in it or even forward it on to their friends. And so there's an opportunity for those, for those challenges to go viral. One of the key ways the PlayStation 4 really enhances the multiplayer experience in, in Drive Club is the fact that every single section of every one of our tracks, our real world kind of breathtaking, beautiful vistas, has data that um, can be turned into challenges for the best times, the best drift settings, uh, the best not to 60 uh, records on every straight, on every bend, on every turn, every piece of camber, every, every surface type has uh, data that can be turned into challenges which can then be sent to others. That's only achievable uh, on this console with, a, with this brilliant new emphasis on connected gameplay. Drive Club isn't a professional racing series. This isn't Formula One or IndyCar or anything like that. This is just a bunch of people that love cars, that love racing, that want to compete together, collaborate together, that just want to turn up to a location and just put their tires on the asphalt, you know? We want to make sure that, you know, irrespective of your level of skill, whether you're a hardcore racer or just, just, just casual racer, that you can pick up and play. But it has those layers of depth inside there. So if you are a skilled player, you can shave off those tenths of a second per lap. But if you are a casual player, you can pick it up and play and still post a good lap time. We want people to be able to pick up a car and go, this is fun, I can tell the difference between that car and get around this corner, look at me drift, isn't it brilliant? You know, we've, we've just expanded the model to the point where it's easy access, but difficult to master. It's, um, it's very much a case of everything that we do in this game is gonna make the player feel cool. Um, we want to actually make people understand the, uh, the fact that this isn't a hardcore racer. It's not um, a simulation in any way, shape or form. It's about having fun in cars on very fast roads. And of course, you know, being able to actually uh, send out that information and buy uh, cool videos, screenshots, 
and even sharing it to uh, to things like Ustream and the like is uh, is absolutely integral to that. You know, we want people to be viewing the information that we're sending out from every single player um, so that they understand that this is a, a broad community and absolutely the best racing experience that they're going to have on the next generation console.